Hello Kiwirup Secondary College community. This video is an extension of the newsletter sent home late in week two of the holidays. In this video, we want to give you a rundown of what students should expect to do when classes start on Wednesday for the beginning of term two. On Wednesday, and then each morning while we are working in remote learning mode, students should be organized and settled at their home workplace by 9 a.m. Here's an example planner that was sent out in the newsletter last week of what a day may look like. At 9am, house group teachers will be making contact with students at least twice a week in the regular house group time. While this is occurring, students should interact with their house group teacher through either their school email or through Microsoft Teams. They can then use the rest of the time from 9am to 9.15am to open up the Compass homepage check the newsfeed items, and also check their school emails. A reminder for students is that their login to Compass is their student code as their username, and their password by default, if they haven't changed it, is their date of birth in the eight digit format. On the right hand side of the Compass page here, we've got a newsfeed as it would look for a year seven student, and all of the announcements with the most up to date being at the top. And so this needs to be checked each and every day. If students need help accessing their school email, please click on the link in the description below to the video which shows that process. There's also another video for configuring your school email on an iPad or on a smartphone. We're now going to take a look at how students will access their learning on a day-to-day -day basis. The example that we're going to use here is a Year 7 student in Miss Markham's science class. This particular example is for period three on Thursday. So the student would log on and then would click on year seven science with Miss Markham. What teachers at Career Up Secondary College have done is that they've simplified our normal instructional model, which is used in a class, and we've made weekly learning goals and learning sequence instead of lesson by lesson ones. This has allowed for more flexibility in learning and is in line with the Department of Education's allocations of learning time. So it makes it easier for students to work on particular subjects outside of that subject time if they wish to do so. An example of a weekly learning plan is below. This has been pasted into Compass. If we click on the link, we'll get a download and we can see that in large. We've got the learning goals for the week, so what students are going to learn. We've got the success criteria what they'll be able to say or do by the end of the week to demonstrate their learning. And then we've got the list of expected work, what needs to be done in that particular week. Down below in tasks and assessment, that's where we see the explicit examples of the tasks that are going to help them with their learning and ultimately what they're being assessed on in that particular week. Whilst we have a weekly planner, it is important that students do check at each lesson because teachers may change some information or may provide additional information in that lesson plan about things that are upcoming for that particular class. So looking again at this particular class, we've got Hi701, welcome back to Term 2. Today we are going to begin with a remote learning lesson via video chat in the Microsoft Teams app. Click on the link below to access it. You should also click on the week one science planner link and have it open on your device to refer to. That was the document we had opened earlier. Once you have done, join the meeting. See you online. So this particular student is going to open Microsoft Teams. Now before I go to Microsoft Teams, all students in their newsfeed were sent a direct link and they were also emailed a direct link to this web page, which is going to help them with accessing Teams and understanding how it's used and what it's used for. Parents have also been provided with this information. It's a step-by-step -step walkthrough on the important processes that take place in Microsoft Teams. The most important resource in here is the video on what are the different features. So by playing that, students will get a good understanding of how they do the different things that they need to do within Microsoft Teams. Something else that's important to take note of while we're here is that down the bottom, students have a list of protocols or rules for using Microsoft Teams, because it's very important that when we are working online, we are conducting ourselves in a respectful manner. 
we're respecting our teachers, other students and their privacy as well, and that we're using it for school matters. We're not using it for anything that's not related to what we're doing here at school. So back to Miss Markham's science class, and for a student in this class, they'll open up Teams through Office 365 in their web browser or on their desktop app. There is a link below to downloading that. Students will come to their team here, and when it's time for the meeting, or five minutes before the meeting, a join button will show up here and students can join the web meeting with Miss Markham. Very important that students are muting their microphones, okay, because if someone starts talking, they'll automatically interfere with what the teacher's doing and that will override them. So teachers will mute all microphones if needed, but it's easier if students can just have their microphone muted from the start. The chat function within the meeting, that is where students can do a virtual hand raise and ask a question. So as the teacher's presenting, questions can be being typed and asked in the side. Okay, and the teacher can then explain responses to those questions as they go along. This is a Teams dashboard and we can see that there are different postings in here from students and from the teacher. And over in this channel is the Earth in Space, which is a channel dedicated to Year 7 Science and their first topic. And they've got all sorts of different resources in here. One of the things that we might have picked up on was that the assessment task for this particular class was their Flipgrid research task. Within Teams, Flipgrid has been embedded and students are going to come here in order to log in. Once logged in, students are going to see their task in Flipgrid. Okay, and what they need to do is research and investigate one aspect of space that interests them and they're going to record their response to that. Okay, all the students' videos will be posted here and that's what they will be assessed on for the week. In the chat function, that's where students can contact their teachers for help. So if it's a question that they don't feel comfortable posting on the team site in the thread that's seen by everyone they can actually send a message and ask for help this way we'll take a quick look at an app that is used by a lot of senior students and some of our junior students as well and that is OneNote class notebook so this is where teachers have a digital notebook and within their digital notebook each of their students has a book and they can push out tasks which can then be completed in live time and feedback can be given by their teachers so it's very possible that students will be using this as they go. One handy app that students will find throughout this remote learning time is that there's an app called Office Lens. Now there's a video to using Office Lens on the sway that's provided for students. What Office Lens does is it allows you to turn paper documents that you have through the app here into a PDF which you can then send to your teacher. So if students are asked to do some maths work in their book or if they're writing something on paper, they can quickly create a PDF with that and they can send it to their teacher through email, Teams, or they can attach it on Compass to a learning task. These are just some of the ways that teachers may engage their students in remote learning, but it always starts with coming to Compass for your lesson, checking your weekly plan and your teacher's instructions for that particular time, and then working on that. The teachers at Career Up Secondary College are excited to get back to work on Wednesday helping our students learn in all subject areas. We do recognise the challenges that COVID-19 has placed on our college community, and we are confident if, that if we work together with students, teachers and parents, we will be able to provide the students with great learning opportunities until we are back in our classrooms.